college football playoff ranking reactions for November 13th. <sighs> Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six wonderful sports books down there. They got the Samstown, Hollywood, First Jackpot, Fitz Casino, Gold Strike, Horseshoe. TunicaTravel.com has got all of the information that you need on all of their six wonderful sports books. WinningCuresEverything.com has got all the information you need on us. Our picks, our previews, all of our uh, uh, social media, whatever. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and help us out. Leave some comments down in the bottom. Tell us whether you agree with us or not. Tell me why. We have a lot of people that say that we're stupid and they don't explain why. I, I don't understand. Help me out here. So, let's jump into this bad boy right here. We're going to go, uh, let's see, five uh, five at a time, like sure. usual. Let's, let's jump in. Five at a time. Da, da, da. We have got the Massey composite along with it. Uh, I'm not going to read off each one as we go, but we'll we'll explain teams that should be in or shouldn't be in or whatever. And I tell you, it's been a weird year in college football. Like there's there's this upper echelon, and then it's like everybody else. Correct. Just strange. Number twenty five, Boise State, fresh off that win over uh, Fresno, they uh, they jump back into the top twenty five. Number twenty four, Cincinnati. Surprising? Nope. Nope, nine and one. Think Good they football should have team. been in the last couple of weeks. I think they should have too. Utah State at twenty three. <coughs> Whew, what a cough. We need a cough button. <laughs> We're not that, that cost, hot tech yet. That might cost some money. Uh twenty three, Utah State, they absolutely deserve to be in there. They are on a nine game winning streak. They are rock and rolling since the uh the close loss at Michigan State in the first game of the year. They've been rolling teams. Correct. Rolling teams. Number 22, Northwestern, the first four-loss team to show up this early in friggin' ages. They punched their ticket. They lost to Akron, and they won the Big Ten West. Like, and I understand that that's the punchline. Like, that's the narrative on this team. It's a pretty good football team. Yep. Like, it's a really good football team. They, uh, they only beat Rutgers by three, and then they turn around and they win at Iowa, like, on a, on a cold Big Tenny day. Ah, number 21, Mississippi State. To anybody in this five that you think needs to be higher, lower? I would take all of these teams and kind of bump them up a little bit. I don't know who I would knock down, I guess, but I, I think like Utah at 19 seems like it might be kind of high. Yeah. And same w- maybe with Boston Wa- College. Washington, Utah, and BC, I like all of those teams. I kind of like Cincinnati, Utah State, Mississippi State over all of those guys. I think I I think I agree with you. So uh, state has got four losses as well. So I I know I talked about it with Northwestern, but state uh, got moved down. You can't really slide them too much for uh, for no. a loss to Alabama. No. Uh, number twenty, Boston College, lost to uh, Clemson last week. Kept it uh, relatively close, even without their starting quarterback. Number nineteen, Utah, their starting quarterback and running back are both out, and they still continue to find ways to win games. Like they beat Oregon last week. Um, man, I don't know what's up with Oregon. Like I just I, I can't figure out that team at all. Number eighteen is Washington. Number seventeen is Kentucky. Now the fact that they've got Washington below Kentucky, little strange to me. But yeah, Kentucky's I, got like better wins, I think. Yeah, I, I think Washington's better than them. I would bump Kentucky down with that other that that list of folks too. I mean, you can't six, put them behind Mississippi State, but yeah. Number sixteen is Iowa State. Um. I mean, Iowa State's a good football team. They lost three games early, but they have been on a tear here lately. Correct. And we'll figure out what Iowa State's made of uh, when they go to number 15, Texas, this weekend. Number 15, the Longhorns. Number 14, Penn State. Number 13, Florida. Number 12, Syracuse. And then number 11, UCF. So at this point, like, you're thinking, okay, Florida just got housed, like, last weekend, like, the weekend before this past one, at home by three touchdowns by Missouri. But if you look at Missouri, like Missouri's number twenty one in the Massey composite. Like they may have four losses, but like two of those are the top five teams. Number one team and the number five team. Uh they beat Purdue. They beat Florida. Like they, you know, like that's it. Missouri's pretty good pretty good football team. Um like here's here's the issue that we're running into. Everybody's just kind of the same. That's right. Like at Penn State at fourteen seems kind of high. But like, who are you putting above them? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the issue. Is is there's no difference between Penn State 
and all the teams beneath them. Yeah, it's just the same thing. And same thing with Florida. Like, Florida's got that good win over LSU. Correct. Um, and Florida's got a win over, like, South Carolina now. They, I mean, Tennessee could get bowl eligible. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, UCF moved up one to eleven. Yeah, they got to move. They they just have to. They they, they have, have to, to. They have to make a move up soon if they want a shot at the playoff. And this weekend will be a good time to do that. Now I don't know that anybody in the top ten is going to lose, so they just have to look really, really, really damn good against Cincinnati. Like you got to look really good, and hope that Ohio State kind of lays an egg against Maryland. Yeah, because uh, I like maybe West Virginia gets beat by Oklahoma State. Oh, Oklahoma could get beat. Oklahoma plays Kansas. Oh, do they, hang on. When do they? Oklahoma oh, and next, West Virginia is next it's week. It's next week. Never mind. Yeah. No, Oklahoma. Like not there, there will no, be a lot not of, getting beat. There will be a lot of shakeup yeah. next week. Okay. This week, not so much. Number ten is Ohio State. Number nine, West Virginia. Number eight, Washington State. Number seven, LSU. Number six, Oklahoma. Nothing changed from last week, and we did not expect it to because well, I mean, everybody I, won. I, yeah. I still thought LSU should should fall down. I mean, I, I mean that's my school. I like them, but they're if we're using the eye test, if you're using the win loss records, if you're using the resume, like in no way have they looked better than Washington State. They just they just haven't. I mean, their their best win is over Georgia. Their second best win is over Mississippi State. Yeah, no, they've got some good they, wins. Their only losses are to number thirteen Florida and number one Alabama. But they just don't they don't look the same as I don't know maybe it's because the teams they play are tougher I don't know it's I mean it's possible I'll take it but so it yeah so LSU at seven like eventually they will get jumped and then six at Oklahoma I I I know that I've railed on this for a while I just don't get it I don't get it whatsoever and then and then uh Colin Cowherd came out today another guy to say Oh, one of the only two teams that can hang with Alabama this year is Oklahoma or Clemson. Like, why is Oklahoma being thrown? It it took overtime to beat Army, but you think that team can hang with Alabama? Like, are like, you kidding me? We have a five-loss Oklahoma State team that is a two-point conversion away from beating you, but that team can beat Alabama. A five-loss uh, Texas Tech team that yeah. is also basically a two-point conversion away from... And that yeah. got... Beat by Mrs. Uh, by Ole Miss, yeah, in the first game of the season. But you think Oklahoma can beat Alabama? I just think these people are insane, and we're giving Oklahoma Oklahoma offensively an incredible team. They unbelievable. Lincoln Riley, great offensive mind. They can't stop anybody. Number five is Georgia. Number four, Michigan. Number three, Notre Dame. Number two, Clemson. Number one, Alabama. Nothing changed. No. Nothing changed. As far as the Massey composite goes... Nor do goes, I expect any of that to change. No. Uh, as far as the Massey composite is concerned, uh, the teams <clears throat> excuse me, that are in the top 25, uh, they've got 23 out of the 25 in here. So the, the computer numbers are finally starting to match up with the CFP. Uh, the only ones missing are Missouri at 21 and Texas A&M at 23. Uh, well, and Fresno State is 25, but Cincinnati is 26, so they're right there. Uh, the team that is the most highly ranked, let's see, Northwestern is number 34 in the Massey Composite. And then who are we missing? We're missing somebody. We got Cincy, Boise. Where's Boise State? Utah State. Boise State's number 24. Where is Utah State? No, they're number 20 in the Massey Composite. It's got to be somebody at the bottom. Da, 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 da. Let's see. So what are the what are the five bottom teams? Uh, yeah. Mississippi State. Oh, you got it. Mississippi State, Northwestern, Utah State, Cincy, and Boise. Well, Boise is twenty four, Cincy is twenty six. Uh, let's see, we're missing only one, and I do not know where it is. Boston College, maybe. Boston College. That's exactly who it is at thirty two. Okay. So Boston College is ranked number twenty in the CFP. That's it. And I think that might be to prop up Clemson, maybe. Uh, because they are 32 in the Massey Composite, just way down there. Um, and then you got Northwestern in there, and they are the number 34 at Massey Composite. It's kind of strange that Northwestern is, is up there. I guess maybe they're just throwing out the Akron loss, because that was a strange 
weird ball game. I mean, these people, the people that run this committee also find a lot of hype in what did I see this week. And Northwestern went into Iowa and beat up Iowa. Yeah. They held Iowa offensively to nothing. Iowa scored nothing. And Iowa is still number 28 at the Magic Composite. Auburn is number 29 at the Magic Composite. So you've got, uh, let's see, six SEC teams. No, seven. Eight. In the top 30. Good gracious. you got three in the top 10, two in uh, 11 through 20, and then three. You got eight in the top 30. Well, eight in the top 29 yep. SEC teams. That is that's strong. It's a lot. That's strong. And if you want to go all the way down to uh, South Carolina at 33, I mean, that's nine and 33. Yep. That's, uh, that's pretty strong. Pretty strong stuff. This week, eh, we're not that mad at them. I don't no, guess. I mean, the things that I'm upset about, I know they're not going to change. No, what's that? I mean, o- Oklahoma at six. I think Oklahoma shouldn't even be in the top ten. I think Oklahoma's 11. Okay. And then put UCF up, up in the top ten? I would put Washington at six. Washington State, sorry, at six. And I would have UCF. If you want to have LSU seven still, that's fine. I'd have UCF eight. Okay. That's reasonable. That's that's. We'll see what UCF is made of this weekend. It, it'll be nice to see them against a uh, a really good defensive team. You agree with that? Okay. I mean, we're not going to see Oklahoma play a really good defensive team the entire season, so I don't know why UCF has to prove themselves against a defensive team. But okay. Well, I mean, UCF doesn't have the the name. But we shouldn't be worried about names. I mean, we shouldn't. We should worry about let them play it out. I mean, we should be. That's yeah, the problem. You're right. You're right. All right, that wraps up our college football playoff ranking reaction show for November 13th. Go over to TunicaTravel.com, find more information on their sports books down there. Go to winningcureseverything.com. We'll see you guys next week.